What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be installing this generic quad lock on my 23 Kawasaki Vulcan 650. And I picked this up on Amazon for about $12. I was going to get an actual quad lock and I kept seeing this pop up, had a bunch of good reviews and also read that you can use all the quad lock attachments for this. It's built just like it. Um, obviously it's about a $40 difference. I think this itself is $50 from quad lock. So I figured why not give it a try for $10. So what it came with is the actual connector that goes on the bike has three bushings total, one inside, two different ones, an Allen key. This is a double-sided sticky tape piece for the actual part that mounts to your phone, which I have actually already mounted, but that is what it looks like right there. So I'm going to figure out which bushing size this is, get it installed on my bike, and then I will have a separate video. And when I do post it, I'll put it in the description of riding with this. And then we're also going to order the vibration dampener to put on this and see if what everyone says is true about the parts being universal to quad locks. All right guys, so here it is installed. I did have to do a little bit of modification. So the bushings it came with, I showed you had a small, medium, and large. Small is too small, large is too big, and the medium is just a hair too small. So what I did is I took two-sided tape and I laid it in the other piece just like this, I laid it up twice. I stuck it, I peeled the sticky part off and stuck it to the seal, but then I left the part that touches the handle unwrapped. That way, if I need to take it off and do any adjustments, I can. So in here, we're gonna trim it down some, but you can see where I've got it in there. That way, I don't have to worry about it moving or anything. So if you order this kit, the bushings that come with it are not correct for these handlebars. If there is another accessory bushing kit, I can find, but when I post this video, I will post it in the description, but if not, you have to do some modification. But it's still as simple and cheaper if you have to buy a roll of this to do this. It works perfectly. I took it down the road. I had no problems. I'm on a few mile drive, everything is sitting perfect. Obviously, it could change over time, but I will post a review video of a second view with a phone on the mount and a camera on me uh, and another video when that is posted it will be in the description and then i will also post another video of me adding the vibration dampener that quad lock makes to this to see if it is as compatible as everyone says it is so if you enjoyed the video hit that like button check out my channel i have a bunch of videos on this bike and, and i do post one video every day monday through friday on auto body auto mechanics and how to's i but i do specifically have a lot of videos on this bike so if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you like to see anything else, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.